all four of those flags been to the moon. It flew. They flew up there and landed on the moon. They're from the astronauts who flew Apollo 8 and were presented to University of Texas football coach Darrell Royal. Touring Edith and Coach Royal's home is like walking through a museum. Christofferson over there. Chris Christofferson, I know. Saying, and Mike Nitka is in the other one. The walls of fame are filled with great memories and pictures of other famous people that came into their lives. Edith took this picture of Coach playing chess with Willie Nelson, and here's one of him playing golf with a long-haired President Johnson in the blue shirt on the right after he left the White House. Hair was just blowing in the back. He just kind of let it all hang out. And then, of course, there are these. These are national championships. Obviously, I had great players and great staff. He certainly did. Bertelson dives under a defender. Touchdown. But let's give credit where credit is due. Texas. The team Darrell Royal has guided to 19 straight victories. Darrell Royal took the University of Texas Longhorns to three national championships in 1963, 69, and 70. A winning string of 20 games. A Longhorn football team rules the country for the second time in seven years. In 20 years at UT, his record was an astounding 167 wins, 47 losses, and five ties. When he got here, however, in 1956, the Horns needed some fixing. It was an interesting year before. Uh, it wasn't such a bad situation. They won one game. <laughs> Just one game. <laughs> and the head coach of the Longhorns, Darrell Royal. Good luck. As head coach next season, he turned things around. The Horns won six, lost four, and never looked back. You were at the top of your game, and you ended up winning three national championships. Tell me, describe that feeling. Well, you, you never know how you look to get your picture took. It was fun. It was a fun career. Any regrets during any of that time? No. None whatsoever? Mm -mm. I know what we had. And what'd you have? A few wins. Plenty of wins. Yeah, we won more than we lost. This is a picture of our daughter. She always made a little good luck piece to put in, the, put in his pocket okay. before each game. Street confers with Darrell Royal. Darrell Royal lived for football. <laughs> his wife, Edith, knew it from the start. She raised their three kids while her husband worked on building a football program. He'd have an idea in the middle of the night and he'd be up in the bedroom with the other bedroom with that Steenbeck machine rolling. He'd look at film all night. He worked all the time on football. He never, his mind never stopped working on football. I went on Google and found a bunch of good Daryl Royal quotes. And I'd just like to hear from you about them. I know that the odds are against a marriage lasting 60 years, he said. You've been married 66 years now. Yeah. You still in love with your wife? Oh, sure. What makes you happy with her? Well, she's been an excellent coach's wife. She never bothered me being away on recruiting trips, staying late at the office, watching football film. So, it's not everyone would put up with that. Three things can happen when you pass, and two of them are bad. What are the two of them? Interception and incomplete. This is a year where the Longhorns have suffered plenty of interceptions and incompletions. But the coach says, don't lose faith. They need a little help right now, don't you think? There used to be a kind of old saying, do I need a little help? Do you need a little help? I can handle this job all by myself. So Mac Brown is handling it all by himself. And he's doing fine. He's doing fine. And the team will be fine. I'm a big fan of Max. We could still be looking and not found a better fit for the University of Texas. And we haven't been disappointed either. Even this year? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I know what kind of program he's running. The Royals never miss a Horns home game. Those games are played in what's now known as Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. When you walk into it and you see your name up there, yeah, what comes to mind? Well, I'm home, and so I'm now in the audience 
rooting for the Longhorns. The Royals remain active in the community, supporting Longhorn events and many charitable causes. Thank you. Good to see you. Well, we're not ready for that tombstone, so we're doing what we can for the city and for the university and for Austin. And their legacy follows them wherever they go. Three claps for Coach Royal. <laughs> 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 and Edith. When that inevitable day comes, how do you want to be remembered? Just say he tried. As the football season draws to a close, <laughs> Thanksgiving will culminate with the annual and fierce rivalry between Texas and A&M. The coach's advice to the horns? Snap on your headgear and get ready for a contest. Because they're going to come out fighting? Why, sure, we are too.